Now let's look at the third part, de-seasonalize data and predict. We have our seasonal index, and we know that our products are very sensitive to the seasons. So within a year, there are a lot of seasonal fluctuations. Now we need to remove the seasonal fluctuations so that we can st st study the trend. And we use this equation, y hat equals a plus b times t. t represents time. So the first step, we need to de-seasonalize our data. So for the winter sales, we use our winter index. We use the real sales divided by the winter index. And we get this number, 8.759. And for the spring sales, we divide it by our spring's index. Summer sales divided by the summer index. So we do it one by one for every year, every quarter. We call this procedure is deseasonalization of the data. The deseasonalized data is your y variable. Uh, so this is your dependent variable. And your time is the independent variable. But before we go to the regression analysis, we first need to uh, learn how to code your time because we can have odd numbered years or time. We can also have even numbered. For example, this one. In total, we have got nine years. So this is odd numbered. If it is odd numbered, then the middle point, the middle year, the year in the uh, in the middle, we code it as zero, and then minus one, minus two, plus one, and plus two. And if it is even numbered, suppose we have ten years, like this, and then we need to use the middle two numbers as minus one and plus one, and then minus three plus three, minus five plus five, etc. So our equation y hat equals a plus b times t is based on the coding of our time. If you code time like this, then you will find to calculate your b, that is much simple. This is the equation you can use to, catch, uh, to calculate your b value, an a value. We still use the previous example to illustrate that. Now we know that our y variable is the deseasonalized variable, and our x variable is the coding of the time. And then we can have x times y for each cell, each line, one by one, and x squared for each x number, one by one, and for both of them, we sum them up. Then we use the equation sigma x times y divided by sigma x squared. So, 206.754 divided by 4,600. And then you can get your B. And your Y bar, this is the mean of your deseasonalized data, is your A. If you get your mean and A, you can formulate your equation. Y hat equals 9.23 plus 0 0.04 times T. This is your prediction equation. Uh, we are going to predict the winter sales in 2007. And if we extend our coding for winter, which is up right after 4 in 2006, and the code should be 25, so your t will be 25. And then you can predict 10.36 million of dollars for 2007. But this is based on a trend line, a linear relationship. So 10.36 is actually a quarter average for 2007. But what about your winter sales? You need to be more precise. Then you need to combine the seasonal index into your calculation. We know that in winter, our sales will be 23.5 lower than the average quarter. Suppose our average quarter, the sales predicted is 10.36 million of dollars. Then we use this number to times the winter index. Then that will be 7.92 million of dollars. This is what we say the seasonalized prediction. 
Because we have the seasonalized prediction, we can make sure that if we predict the winter sales in 2007, we will not predict too much or we will not predict too few. Because we have uh, taken the seasonal index number into account, so our prediction is very reasonable, the seasonalized prediction.